um, the proper cage for a cockatiel would be 20 by 20 by 24. It would be the minimum cage the bird can be in. Um, and the spacing would be, between the bars, would be a half inch to 5 8 inch is the minimum. Uh, the spacing has to be between a half inch to 5 8 inch. You can't change that at all. The size of the cage, the minimum will be 20 by 20 by 24. The bigger the cage, the better. Especially for, um, you know, people think small birds, small cage, but small birds are usually more active and fly, usually fly, so they need more room. Um, our bigger birds are lazy. They don't do anything. Um, most of them don't even go in their cages. You know, they wait for us to come home, then they get off their cages. Their cage is somewhere for them to sleep and hang out. Little birds are not like that. They play a lot. They're all over the cage. They're climbing around. Um, so, you know, obviously the bigger the better for the cage, but the bar spacing has to be um, exact, otherwise you will have um, injuries. A, a good um, way to judge the cage is if the bird should be able to expand its wings and its tail and not touch, any, touch the sides of the cages. So um, that, um, that's a pretty easy way to remember, um, especially um, smaller birds. Um, wider is better than, or the width is more important than the height because birds fly side to side, not up and down. So they're never going to use that space in the bottom anyway. They're only going to use the width of it. So, you know, try to get something wide. Um, you know, you definitely, um, it's a catch-22 because it's a piece of your furniture usually, but at the same time it has to be acceptable for the bird. So usually the prettier or, you know, the more intricate work is probably a really bad cage for your bird. You know, your stainless steel box is, you know, that's not very pretty. It's going to be the best cage for your bird. Okay, you done? So... <laughs> Um, and again, that's how his foot got hurt was, and just, he got his foot caught in a cage and turned and, you know, there it is. So, um, and especially for your birds with longer tails, um, you know, the McCall's tail, you know, can be two, three feet. It needs to make sure it's not hitting the cage. Otherwise you're going to have a scraggly looking tail.